Welcome to the Gyrocopter Flying Club. This film is all about rotor management. I said in the preview film that rotor management was often misunderstood. And as we can see in this clip, it's because much of what was very necessary with a single seater type has become redundant with newer aircraft fitted with functioning pre-rotators, a rotor brake, an electric start meaning hands can remain on the stick, and a rotor taco. The major themes of rotor management remain the same, but the focus is different. Manoeuvring on the apron, including 180 degree turns, do require awareness of prevailing wind, but the initial taxi is far less demanding with rotors stopped and effectively uh, rotors locked with a good rotor brake. Factory type two-seaters typically have 28 feet diameter rotors, and in this demonstration with an MTO Sport shows not only how rotors are able to flex, but how the prevailing wind or airflow from a fast taxi could make the rotors flap to the extent that without correct stick positioning, rotor to prop or rotor to tailplane contact is possible. When taxiing with the rotors stopped, the stick should be positioned fully forward and deflected towards the prevailing wind, unless it is from the rear and then the stick is fully forward and deflected to the left. Remembering that the relative position of the wind may shift during your route from the apron to lining up and more care is required on a bumpy grass airfield. An early gotcha in modern gyroplanes was starting the ground roll with a stick forward as this sees significant rotor RPM decay and the risk of a possible tail strike. Following my technique from the takeoff field means pre-rotating to 200 rotor RPM. Such rotor speeds ensure there's no possibility of blade sailing and unstick is clean and undramatic. The most important element with modern types and often overlooked is rotor management post landing and that is because initially we're concerned with rotor thrust, not blade flapping or blade sailing. Bring the aircraft to a complete stop before moving the stick fully forward and central and pause before starting to taxi. Do not be hurried. You have significant rotor thrust still to manage in the rotor system and any mishandling of the stick at this stage will see the aircraft roll. And be aware of the actual wind. Was there a crosswind? And if so, how strong? Remember, you still need to taxi back to parking. Even if your pause after landing is less pronounced, risks are minimised by keeping the taxi straight ahead. It is not recommended to commence turns to vacate the runway until after rotor RPMs have decayed significantly. And don't become distracted with items inside the cockpit, such as this M16 pilot being distracted with his stick retainer, or this Calidus pilot being distracted with his rotor brake. Don't let your experience or spectator pressure of a big flying change your winning plan. This pilot's early 180 backtrack helps everybody else, but he owns all of the risk. Deflect the stick towards a prevailing wind as per the initial taxi only once rotor RPMs have decayed below around 150 and don't relax the forward stick, especially if operating off a bumpy airfield. Don't be casual. Any error in this phase of the flight will not be recoverable. Fly safely.